Now in this lecture we're going to build an ethane molecule from two methane molecules. Now ethane is an alkane. It's composed of two carbons and a total of six H atoms. A methane molecule, however, is the simplest alkane. It's composed of one carbon and four H atoms, identical H atoms, attached to the carbon via sp3 hybridized orbitals. So we're basically going to take two methane molecules, combine them, and form our ethane. But before we actually combine them, we have to turn them into methyl radicals. A methyl radical is simply a methane molecule minus an H atom and an electron. So to create a methyl radical from a methane molecule, we take away an H atom along with one electron. So the same thing goes for this second methane molecule. We take away an H atom along with one electron. So now we have a methyl radical. In this radical, these bonds between the carbon and the H are approximately sp2 hybridized. And this orbital is approximately a 2p orbital. And our electron, the single electron, will be found within this 2p orbital. The same thing goes for the second methyl radical. We have sp2 hybridized uh, bonds between the carbon and H, and we have the one electron found within this 2p orbital. Now, when these two methyl radicals begin to approach one another, the lobes, which are approximately 2p, become approximately sp3 hybridized. And that simply means that as they approach one another, these green sections become larger and larger, and these blue sections become smaller and smaller. And eventually, when they come close enough, there is an overlap between these two sp3 hybridized orbitals, and they form what we know as a covalent bond. And we get our ethane molecule in which every single bond is sp3 hybridized. Once again, to build methane, I'm sorry, to build, this should be ethane, to build ethane, we begin with two methyl radicals, their orbitals containing the electrons react forming an sp3 sigma bond as we saw here. Once again, individually, these methyl radicals contain sp2 hybridized bonds with approximately 2p orbital that contains our electrons. But when they come closer, these orbitals become sp3 hybridized, which eventually form the bond forming our ethane molecule. Now, let's look at, let's look at our electron diagram or energy diagram for these two bonds. So here we have our sp3 hybridized bond they interact, they each have one electron each, and then they form two molecular orbitals. One is the sigma bonding molecular orbital, and the second one is the sigma anti-bonding molecular orbital. Now this guy will be lower in energy, this guy will be larger, it will have larger amount of energy. And that means that our electrons will tend to go into the orbital that is lower in energy, so our electrons will tend to go into this lower bonding sigma orbital. And so this guy is lower in energy than both this and this atomic orbital. So what is the meaning of this? Well, let's look at our reaction. So our reaction takes place in a following way. Our reactants A, which are simply two methyl radicals, react they have to surmount this activation barrier. They reach some transition state found here, and then they drop down and form our B, our product, our ethane molecule. And because this final bond is lower in energy than either of these two atomic orbitals, we release energy, and we release our energy change in enthalpy. So change in energy simply change in enthalpy. So as our reaction progresses, our energy drops by this amount. And it's actually 900 kilocals per mole. In other words, if we have one mole 
of methyl radical reacts with one mole of methyl radical, we form one mole of ethane and we release energy. So we release 90 kilocals of energy. So this is a favorable reaction in terms of our change in enthalpy.